Morning, Joe. Morning, Adam. You all right? Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? Good. Very good. Good. So it's the 2nd of March, no, 3rd of March, 2020. Um, crazy. Flown by. That, that is crazy, isn't it? Um, so you are one, two, three, four months in to your, your EXP self-employed journey. It'll be um, six at the end of this month. Well, October the 25th is what we always say is your date for opening, I think, wasn't it? That was your... So November... Five. We'll be fine at the end of the month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, so how's it going? So last month we spoke and um, I, you know, I can't remember if you posted the video and you've, you've just told me that maybe I didn't. So I'll have to post that and then we'll post this one in a week or two's time. Um, but how's it going in the last month or so? What's, what's been happening in February? Tell us all about it. Um, just, just you can all talk about what's happening at the moment, can't you? But just in the last week, ten days, um, I think I've seen a bit of a pickup in terms of um, uh, valuations. Whether that's a market thing as a whole or just me personally, because like we said before, a lot of my stuff is recommendation, referral, networking. So it could well be that a few people have just given me leads at the same sort of time. Um, but and also, I think there's a general pickup. I think there's a seasonal thing where people will start to do it now. We were trying to encourage people to do it in January and February, but there are still those people that live by, we'll do it once maybe the sun appears a little bit or once the flowers start sprouting. It's very, um, yeah, it's very stereotypical, isn't it? And you can't yeah. discourage some of those people. They will wait, no matter if an agent says, get it on in January, get it on February. So I think they're coming now. So I think we'll probably see a busy... Uh, a busy couple of months in terms of vowels, instructions, hopefully, because um, we all know that when it gets to the summer, there'll be that sort of quiet enough period. So whether you're on the high street doing what we're doing, I think the next next couple of months is um, crucial for kind of the whole year, really, you know, yeah. providing that pipeline for the summer months. And what, um, where are those leads coming from? Where, where, so I know you do a lot of social media, probably a lot of people watching this might see you on LinkedIn. Um, where where are your leads coming from? So they are. The, so the social media is helping. It's the kind of thing in the middle. So there are people that know of me from the past, like an old old schoolmate or an old football mate or something like that. But I'm not in touch with them, and they're not in my necessarily in my phone book at the moment. We don't chat. But they're then seeing, oh look, you know what he's doing, and that is generally the social media. And, and that's then on Facebook. Getting, yeah, Facebook, LinkedIn, a bit of Instagram, and they're they're getting in touch with me. Um, one guy just found he didn't have my phone number. He just found my mobile off of one of the posts uh, and rang me. Uh, so, will you come and value my mum's house? Of course, I will. It's in the area that I cover in Rickmansworth. Yeah. Um, getting a few bits from networking. Um, and so, just just going back to that social media, that's you. You haven't created like your own Joe Rylett estate agent page have you you've you're just posting on your own because we're friends on facebook you're just posting on your own i have facebook. both i do have both both right okay i have a facebook page which is joe Riley, spoke estate agent powerboy xp and then i post on there and then i share it on my own personal page okay. but funny enough I, the personal page obviously grabs those people more um oh, that's what i was gonna I'm, that's what I'm, really what i was getting at is do you so i didn't realize you had to pay well i did i probably did realize you had a page on facebook um, but do you, do you think your per, your personal posts probably get you in front of the friend from the football ma football team, the friend from down the pub, the friend that you sold a house for you know five years ago who you hit, hit it off with and decided to become friends on Facebook? They're the problem. They're coming from yeah. your personal page. Yeah, I think so. I think the for some reason I think the the way they set up the algorithms and like they tend to hit them from my personal post rather than coming from my work one anyway. Yeah. Um, but there's about six hundred and sixty odd. Uh, followers of the, uh, the work page, um, which I don't know if that's good. Uh, Missy's got about 400 in a week setting up a cafe, you know, she's like, oh, I got more than you, but and I was really trying to get it. But you've got to stop trying to get likes and followers, it's not all about that. Just let that happen naturally. If people want to, then that's fine, don't force it. But, um, yeah, also, you know, LinkedIn, although it's kind of normally sort of business networking, like minded people, there are actually sellers in there you know if if um there was one valuation came from there well it was again it was a, there was a link it was a friend of a friend so i've seen what you're doing can you come and have a look at mine just those scenarios yeah. um so long way that last you know lots of I've been doing it sort of 14 15 years around this area so there are people that a lot of people out there that know me um but you still got to get in front of them you still got to 
convince them you know what you're doing and win it um because but it's that transferable trust thing isn't it you know if, yeah. if your friend recommends them or recommends a mum and a dad or something like that and they you could then you've got to do something really bad to sort of blow that sometimes um so yeah it's a it's a trusting networking's going well joined the bni group um 6 30 every thursday morning i've had four valuations from that wow. uh, one one is a definite instruction so that you know what you pay to become a member will be paid off and then some with just one sale yeah it's not it's not about that you didn't join just to get one sale but that that will i think really really grow it's not for everyone but it's, no, it's working for I, me i tried networking for many years and i i just i couldn't i don't know i don't know what it was I just maybe i went in there with the wrong attitude is that is that the key what's the key to networking is it going in with that atti- the right attitude and open mind some people go in and think it's a bit cheesy and a bit chanty and a bit kind of clicky and i did i did but i just said you know what i'm gonna to have to step out of my comfort zone on this and not yeah. be so bloody stubborn about what i like and what i don't <laughs> like and we were talking a while back about a property that i said i wouldn't normally put on because of the situation um but you've got to you've got to step back and go you know, what is the best thing to do so yeah just stepping out of what you'd normally do I mean, I was singing last week, and I know I've sung before, but I've never sung in like a business network meeting. I was, and I, yeah. I nearly didn't do it. I was like, "Am I really going to do this?" And I thought, "Oh, do you know what? Just do it." And then it got like positive feedback. You know, well done. And who knows? It might be a couple of new friends that want a guy to sell their house that can sing a song. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, well, it makes you stand out. It makes you stand <laughs> out. And if you haven't seen that, if you're watching this video and you haven't seen that that uh, sing sing song that Joe did, um, then I suggest you look him up on LinkedIn and check it out because it was quite funny and, uh, and it'll definitely and, be remembered um, and linked to that I'd, I'd contacted another guy that said do you fancy joining in a networking group we need um, we need a carpenter because we need certain people in our group to sort yeah. of fill gaps and he said no not for me it's just it's just pure cheese and i can't handle that i said yeah it's really cheesy isn't it like you see estate agents getting up and singing songs it's well cheesy <laughs> but uh, i thought do you know what embrace that so yeah good yeah good and and the other thing i was going to ask you and this is this will be something interesting for hopefully viewers of this video, you posted a video on LinkedIn yesterday, literally yesterday, first day of March. Um, what's and all, you, you're, you're the sort of bloke to wear your heart on your sleeve, which I love. Um, and you talked about those down days, those anxious days. So I just wanted to sort of go over that and, and see how you're feeling today. Um, see got, how you cope got, with that. Still got the bags, but, <laughs> but I'm smiling more today. Um, and is that what is that that gets you out of that because everyone has those i have those you know i had one of those a couple of weeks ago where nothing was going right and i'm thinking oh god you know um because it's because it's hard work being being on your own and starting a business um it's very hard work snap out of it these are gonna be loads of cliches now isn't there snap out of it take a step back slap yourself around the face all, all, all the above remember why you're doing it um we were all chatting last night and one of the guys said, what's your, what's your inspiration? And actually he said, I don't need to ask for your inspiration because he saw one of the kids pop into the video and there was yeah. three running around last night and I was trying to do a, a meeting and it was, it was hard work. But do you know what? I was like, they're, they're while I'm doing it. I'm trying to build a future for my family and for them. And you lose, you lose sight of that and you get wrapped up in the instructions, valuations, listings, what's in my diary today, and you go, oh, what if there's not a lot there or nothing's coming on? You get obsessed with that, you'll be, you'll be like that every day. So yeah, I quickly, I've learned some tools to kind of snap out of it. And talking's the best thing, whether it be on a video yeah. or to call my dad. Felt a lot happier after that. I spoke to my dad. He's a lot worse off than me. You know, he was, um, he was feeling bad and he's having an operation. I thought, Jesus, you know, I'm not, not going to hospital for an operation i'm just moaning about that maybe my day is not as exciting and positive as it should be so yeah today today i'm there compared to there yesterday so okay. but that's yeah. we've said it's going to be a bit like that it's just it's just getting out of those ruts yeah i mean i say to everyone welcome to the roller coaster <laughs> you know whenever they join because there is some unbelievable highs and you know I, i've been doing business since 2005 six and you know some unbelievable highs but some incredible incredibly low lows um and uh yeah i mean i never want to revisit the lows again but you do my my lowest of the lows they were very difficult um but yeah you you know you do get there and you have to snap out of it talking to people like you say is the best thing to do and whether that's friends family colleagues um 
or even yourself in the mirror. That's, that's my go-to strategy. I don't think anybody, nobody knows what you're going through. Um, you know, it's, it's all very appropriate with the mental health talk. Everyone talking about mental health over the last few weeks, but you know, nobody knows what you're going through. Nobody is you, nobody's in your shoes and, and understanding your trials and tribulations and frustrations and challenges and successes as well. Um, and how much you can be up here one day and then down here the next day. Um, so, uh, so I always find talking to myself in the mirror because I'm the only one that knows me. So if I talk to myself in the mirror, it feels like I'm talking myself into being a bit more positive and, and looking at, like you say, why you're doing it, um, what you want the end goal to be and, and what you want to look back when you're, you know, when you're towards the end of your life or when you're retiring about what you did achieve. Um, yeah. They're always my big, my big thing. So. And the little groups help that we've, you know, we've got, we've got, loads of agents up and down the country but then setting up little groups little network groups whether it's just five or six of you or one-to-ones and just keep talking because you obviously don't get that um what you have on the high street you constantly have like appraisals and morning meetings and stuff like that and although to be fair most of them all the time were just boring and not a lot of fun and not very inspiring at least there was, there was contact with people to talk about your job yeah. and doing it as you went now you do this there isn't and you can uh, like you said, become a little bit isolated. So I think the network I mean, I've, is I've, massive I've, for that. Network is yeah. massive for that. You know that. Yeah. You know, if you go to two networking events every week, you start your day off by. You know, us estate agents are, are are creatures that want to communicate and have relationships with, with people. Um, so having those, even if those networking events don't bring you any business, I mean, you should go into them with your, you know, your half glass full. That's for sure. Um, but you, even if you don't. At least you'll get you've got a bit of company in many yeah. ways for a couple of mornings a week so so just um what um where are you at the moment what are your what are your instruction levels what's your sales pipeline in terms of number of sales you don't have to tell us how much that's worth it's up to you but um so where where are you sort of second third of march um and so, where do you want to be in a month's time so there is uh one that you'll know about and one that you don't know about because it's not actually online yet, but it's a deal I've been doing behind the scenes. So it will be revealed very soon because you'll see it appear on uh, a loop, which is, uh, well, a deal, a deal has been done in principle. We just need to iron it out with solicitors because it's uh, to build a house. I can't say too much about it publicly. So the um, people out there don't know what I'm up to, but that is looking like being uh, a plus the other one I've got going through, which is 720. So there's sort of 21 grand pipeline. Okay. You uh, should get paid on that today. Um, Sorry, repeat that one, that, that you broke up a bit. So you've got a 21 grand pipeline and- Yeah, there was obviously one, one should be being paid maybe today, the yeah, banks are completed I'll, on Friday or, or tomorrow. the bank account after Not, this. I'll only be chasing by Wednesday, maybe. Um, <laughs> and then put one, two, three, three other things on. We've tactically withdrawn something. It wasn't quite getting the interest, and we're going to go back out there with something, which was a piece of land as well. And we need to relook at that with the price of the developer. Um, so three on. One, another one should go under offer from some viewings I was doing uh, just out in my area, actually, North Finchley, but it was for an old school chum. Did that. I did two rounds of viewing, so 10 on one Saturday, six on the Saturday just gone, so 16 people in total. But we've got an acceptable offer for that from the second round of viewings. Um, we just need a freeholder to swap a garden for share of freehold, which we've been told is a deal because that's what the buyer wants. So, but the numbers yeah. are agreed. So that should be a deal in North Finchley. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought I'd have sold a property in North Finchley? Yeah. Yeah, sitting yeah. in my Watford or Rickmansworth office in the in the past. Um, hopefully, another one coming on um, that I valued yesterday. And then I've got th uh, three valuations this week uh, we were discussing. So that's, you know, that keeps me going this week. All spread out is nice. We've got Wednesday, uh, one yesterday, one Wednesday, one Friday. It gives me yeah. time to prep for them properly. And because I've got my own time, I can drive around, check them from the outside, do loads of research. It's not rushed like, you know, you're trying to do 10 valuations in a week on the high street and you just sort of bang, 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 go from one to the other. That's what's great about it as well. You can go in really, really prepared for these things as well. So, yeah. So, in the space of four months, you basically you've banked a bit of money, um, you've got a 21 grand pipeline, 
Uh, you've got four or five instructions kicking around with another three valuations to come this week. And then, and, you know, in the, you know, coming into the biggest, busiest period of the year from a, from a standing start four months ago, that's where you're at roughly. Yeah. And there's three or four that are there, which I've been told I'm having, and they're people that are just, I'm painting this or I need to get this sorted. I need to get that sorted. Um, so they're not signed, but they are decent verbals. And I just need to, I'm like, so like, you're going to put it on, you're going to put it on this week. I know they're coming, but they they will be over yeah, the yeah. next. Yeah. Um, and it'll probably be what we said now, once a bit of sunshine, they'll be on the phone. Oh, I've painted the bedroom. We're ready now. Um, there's a few of them just sitting there waiting at the moment. So Yeah, yeah, yeah good. So all in all good. I think March will be a good month by the sounds of things. You know, the sun's out here at the moment, although it doesn't look so like it in my office. It's a bit dingy. Um, but um, I've got a north-facing garden, you see. That's the problem. Same here. Um, it's a bit of sun coming through, but mine's north. Yeah. How's it? Um, so, uh, so, yeah, no, look, it's going to be... A, I'm confident it's going to be a good month. I know we are also... You know, I've been doing some training in the virtual world, um, which agents are attending... Um, joining agents, agents that want refreshers. We did one on lead uh, lead generation yesterday for an hour. Just talked about all the different um, places to to lead gen. Um, we talked today about um, what did we talked about today. It was only just before this call, so I can't even remember. Um, oh, direct mail, um, and then how to deal with the inquiries, how quickly you should deal with the inquiries, what you know, how you how you talk to the person who's making the inquiry. Um, so we've got lots of training going on from. Uh, myself and other agents within the network, um, which hopefully will help us to see you know, a few more agents doing a bit more business um, in this, this next busy period. Because the next three months for me was always the busiest of the year and it sets you up brilliantly for summer and then obviously you know, on to the, the slightly slower latter part of the year. But it's amazing how quickly all that comes around and how you have to think about you know, Q4 today because what you do today affects you know, your sales, which then affects your banking in Q3, which then you might have to see through to Q4 and, and yeah. even to ne early next year. So, um, so forward thinking, all that's really important. So, but, you know, I look at you, Joe, and I think I said this last time, you know, you are the reason we do this, the reason we're doing this. Um, you know, someone who's been in the high street for 10, 12 years, you know, gasping to get out on his own, create his own future, you know, uh, with the right, the right reasons, your family, etc. Um, and I think, I think if you look at it, you know, if you take a step back and someone had said to you, you would have, after four months, you'd be at this position. I, I think you'd be pretty, pretty pleased with that. Um, if someone oh, had said that so. back at the start I, of October. I did, yeah, I did that yesterday uh, after feeling a bit down. I did actually just go, hold on a minute, you know, blimey, could have like, could have all ended in misery after two weeks and thought, oh my God, <laughs> yeah. I can't do this and nothing's happening. But we're talking yeah. about five months. Uh, yeah. and Five months can turn into eight months, 10 months, and I'm hoping it's going to turn into five years, 10 years. Um, so yeah, a definitely positive, uh, very positive um, with the odd little moment, but you know, yeah. Yeah. that's going to happen. So Good, good, good. Are you coming up to Leeds on the 26th, 26th of March? Um, involves alcohol, doesn't it? Yeah, probably. No. <laughs> um, I'm, We're hectic. I'm hectic at the moment. As you imagine, uh, three, no, three, no. three kids uh, and a, a wife that started a, a new little venture as well. Um, washing, piling up, toys all over the floor, me running <laughs> in and out with this kind of sporadic sort of lifestyle. Um, got invited to Orlando the other day as well. I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll get there eventually. I'll get there yeah. eventually. Yeah, but I'm probably, no. I'm probably going to be a bit stuck here at the moment. I think hopefully. Um, by well, the it's, end a business, year, it's a business expense, Joe. It's a business expense. No, oh, okay. Get that, get that completion through on time. The, uh, the the seven grand one, um, then um, you know, thousand pound on Orlando. It's pretty uh, stick it on expenses. <laughs> tempting, tempting. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Good All stuff. right. Yeah. I uh, hope people that have watched this have found it useful. You know, as I say, Joe is. Uh, he'll wear his heart in his sleeve. I'll tell you what, it's exactly what it's like. And um, if you're thinking of. Um, if you're looking at EXP, if you're looking at any of these models, you know, you need to speak to everybody and find out what each different model offers. Um, Joe is the man on the front line, so he's the one to speak to, um, not me. I'm, I'm not the one taking the risk, Joe is. We don't, we don't buy it. We don't buy it. We're, we're real people. Um, we are actually doing this. We're not just sitting in rooms having videos like this is all. And two people plucked up the courage to speak to me last week um, just through seeing what was going on LinkedIn and 
they're get, they're going to run with it. And that was just a phone call um, about does this actually work like this? And yes, it does. And can you do this? Yes, you can. Can I do that? Yes, you can. Yeah. Um, and there's, there's people sitting there wondering. Just that sounds a bit cheesy. Pick up the phone. <laughs> yeah. It does. It does sound cheesy, but it's a it, it's an opportunity that we would we would be um, it would be remiss of us not to share it. Is, is what you know I think and. Uh, and so there's hundreds of me out there. There's hundreds of me out there, um, yeah, yeah. just plodding along. Yeah, yeah. Who want to? Who want to do it? But yeah, exactly. Yeah, precisely. So, so yeah. Get in touch with Joe. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you soon. Cheers. See you.